Good morning, guys. Welcome to Haunted Halloween. Haunted Halloween. Welcome to today's video. It is early morning. It's Tuesday morning. Monday was a holiday here because it was Thanksgiving for us in Canada. If you're new to the channel, then you might not know, but we live in Ontario, Canada, and it gets dark early here, and it gets light late here. So we are up early during the week to do chores, and it's dark. Let's spy our little piggy. <laughs> oh, shoot, he heard me, but wasn't he cute for a second there? All snuggled in. What is happening over here in the, in the breeding pen? What's happening? You're still wagging that tail. Try and do like make changes all the time to make our morning routine go faster. But the pigs, go pigs eat so slow. I wonder if like some people wet their feed and some people feed it to them dry. Our both of our pigs have always had it dry. But I wonder if I wet it, if that would make like a huge difference because. I have to push the hay way down low because little tiny toffee climbs right up in this thing and eats. Come on, little toffee. <laughs> Hi, baby. Look at how chunky you are. Yeah, you're still in heat or are you finished? She was in heat on Sunday. Yeah, look at those shoulders. You have big shoulders now. You have big shoulders. And there, there's a beautiful little Lola who's probably going to go over there and pee. You can always tell when a goat comes into heat because they don't really pay attention to the food. They just run to the fence even before the boy is out. So hopefully she's not in heat. Hopefully he bred her. I'm not able to just sit down here and watch them like try and get bred the whole time. So that's why I don't... Ah! Don't headbutt me. She, if I don't let her on my lap, she headbutts me. And when I'm squatting, I could fall. I'm old. It'd be so much easier if I could just let the boys. What is in your mouth? What is that? If I could just let the boy run with the girls all the time, it'd just be so much easier. But I have babies that I don't want bread. So that's a problem. That's a problem, right? I don't feed these guys right away. I let the babies, the younger ones, eat first because these guys are pushy. Anyway, I don't know what's happening with the pig. Pigs are actually harder than you think. I mean, they're not harder than goats, but... Okay, he's eating. When I let him out, he ran to the other door because he's cold. Get out there. <laughs> She's like, how dare you tell me? Get out. Here comes your boss. Out. Everybody out. Oh no, Cricket, you just make me want to look at you. You're just so cute. I never thought I'd like a black goat, but I love her. I might leave them together again still because she's still happy to have him. All right, I'm going to throw some more food and water in here for them and leave them in another day. Sorry about your luck. You get to stay with the boy another day. You got lots of food, lots of hay, lots of water. <laughs> That's what she says when she's mad. But she's still interested in him a lot, see? And I might as well just leave them together. And I mean, 48 hours together, you think that they could figure it out. Come on, Curbs. Get out of the grain. So, update on Kirby. Sam really wanted her to be his dog, and she's turning into that. She now used to be like best friends with Ellie. And are you ready? Come on, Kirby. Wow, it's dark out here. So she used to like really want to be with Ellie all the time, but now when I bring the dogs in, so let's say Sam's outside working, I bring Ellie inside with me. Kirby will like look at me, look at the door, look at Sam, and then she'll run to Sam. She much prefers being outside, doesn't she? Yeah, she's an outdoor dog. Yeah, she's an outdoor dog. Was probably raised an outdoor dog, born an outdoor dog. Guaranteed born an outdoor dog. And she loves being outside with Sam. So she's happy now to just be outside when Sam's working and she knows all the rules now. Like, she's trained to be a farm dog. She doesn't run off. She knows to stay safe from the horses. She knows to stay safe from the goats. All right, she knows to cower when the goats are around. 
and not to look them in the eye. <laughs> Which I feel like not all of our dogs have learned that yet, but all of our dogs are definitely afraid of the goats. Oh, nobody's here. Hold on, I'll show you. Everybody's locked into their area. So those guys are going out there. These guys are going out there. And you guys are getting some fresh food. Honestly though, those baby chickens are as big as the mama now. Look at that. Isn't that insane how fast they grew? That was fast. You guys go out that door. You guys go out that door. You got your food, you got your water. Everybody's good. Everybody's good until they discover that they're locked in for safety and convenience. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's check it out and see what's happening. Actually, I don't know if Sam let the birds out this morning because I don't see, oh, maybe I do, I do. All right, there are no birds around me though. No birds. It's kind of sad though, I miss it. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you stressed out from being locked in? So this is the mean crew. It includes the two roosters, the little silkies, even though they're not mean. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. 15 in this group. I know, they like to come out because then they can eat stuff that's not um, chicken food. They like to dig for worms and eat bugs and ticks and stuff. But it's time. This will also cut down on me losing eggs. Oh, this is the panel. These are the panels that Sam made that he's gonna put over top of, like he put, made a bunch of them. He's gonna put it over top of uh, that, the thing so the wind doesn't go in. Winter would actually not be that bad, except for the wind, holy heck. They're all in there. <laughs> They're all in shock. They're all shell-shocked. Thought I heard a chicken somewhere else. Hi guys! Where are the ducks? So, these are the three black chickens. Oh, I like the little handle here. So they can go in and out. All of them can go in and out to get their food and get their water. I know. Wait, oh, I guess the other turkey's inside. And the ducks must be inside. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you're locked in. He's gonna have to make this wind free too. Poor babies. It's definitely sad. It's definitely hard. I love my chickens free ranging. Like, I love it. Winter is a lot more lonely because I don't come outside as much. I don't stay outside as much. I don't stay outside for as long, but I still have to do my daily checks because I'm super paranoid. Oh, hi, baby. I don't have any treats. I should have brought a carrot. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'll go get a carrot, okay? Because you're the only one here. Give me a kiss. Watch. Right. Let's see if she does it. Kiss. <laughs> Thank you. You deserve a carrot for sure. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Isn't that crazy though? Like cranky old horse. Cranky horse and she kisses. Let's let's see if I can get her to do it again. She understood me. She waited for me. Wow, Pen, it's winter and you're looking chunky. Alright, let's see. Just wait. Kiss. Kiss. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, you're just so sweet. All right, she's not the sweetest horse, but I love her. I don't know where everybody else is. They're out there trying to eat grass, though. A quiet farm is a good farm. Actually, that's not true. Actually, that is true. Goats, when they're bad, they're making noise. Poor Winston is alone today. Oh, <laughs> goats are all. Just checking, uh-oh. What happened to Piggy? You know it's cold when he goes to the corner, goes behind the door. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, hello, Ellie. <laughs> I just wanna check on the breeding pair because when she's over it, she's over it fast and she gets mean. Uh-oh. Why are you standing in the corner? Wow, did he put you in your place? What happened? 
Why are you on the power box? Hey, what's going on? I definitely think she's past her prime now. Normally when she's in heat, they're together and she's far from him, so. So much planned for next year though, for next spring. I'm gonna make another video about all the things that we have planned for the spring. Definitely do want baby goats though. I have faith though, I have faith in him. I know I keep saying it, but I'm manifesting. That's manifesting at its best, you guys. So update on our little chicken brooder. We are all still loving it at night when it's dark. It, the light makes me feel like it's Christmas and I sit there in my spot and I stare in this side and I watch them. <laughs> But they're so cute. Everybody's doing really good. They're eating well, they're drinking well. I put the water up on there. They're able to get everything now. But I think this is it. This is the last batch of chickens that we're gonna hatch. No, we're gonna hatch more now that we have a good stuff. What? <laughs> no. I want them to I want them to be outside by Christmas. In contrast, I want to show you guys how big these ones are. Get this one. I know, they are cute. Ah, I can't catch it. I'm pushing that line. Like They're that super one. chubby. I love that in a chicken. <laughs> but look at how cute. I like this rooster. Yeah, he's for sure a rooster. We know who his mama is too. Because we have one chicken that's like brown and black. We know who his dad is too, I think. How? How do you know? Well, because if it's the silky cross, but it doesn't have those feet. Yeah, he's got fluffy feet. Well, he doesn't have the extra toes. Anyway, so we have 12 chickens. Ooh. That's better math than I math. math yeah. Math. Yeah. So I have, we have 12 chickens. We have 12 baby chickens for this year. I think that's enough. Like, I'm ready for that to be enough. And half of them will be boys though. So we'll probably only have six new chickens for next year. Those are the chickens Sophie sells in the spring. So I don't know. Hopefully we're done. I'm ready to be done. I'm, I'm ready to focus on Christmas. I've been like looking on Amazon. I've been shopping online. Like getting all the things that I want to get. I questioned all my grandkids when they were here, like what do you want for Christmas? And it's gonna be a fun Christmas. I'm wearing a base layer, a hoodie, and then like another really thick hoodie that's like a winter jacket. And I broke out some mitts, that's how cold it is out here. Somebody wants to ride, I'm like, why? <laughs> it's freezing cold. Door. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were riding. No. Yeah, because the grass is wet, I'm actually worried she would get, she'd fall. And we gotta be safe. Gotta be safe with our girl. How is she feeling about you having these guys in here? Why are you all squared up and looking cute? So cute. She's like fully squared up. Wow, she looks really fat today. Well, I just fucked up her hair. So you know what, we manifested this horse. She looks exactly like that horse you had when you were a little girl. What horse? What was that horse? Oh, the butter. butter butterscotch? <laughs> you guys know the for real friend butterscotch horse? Both of my girls had one. She looked exactly like this. This horse is just slightly bigger. In fact, it might not even be much bigger. It's literally the Why same is she so chubby? Because it's winter, she's got her fluffy on. I think she must be bloated. She's got her fluffies on. Horses, when they're eating a lot of grass, they'll get bloated, and then like in the morning, she'll look better. It's cold, holy moly. So uh, you decided to do this instead? Yeah. All right, well, I'll clean up the barn a little. Oh, well, I have her trained, wait. <laughs> wow, that was fantastic. Okay. We need the heat on. Tell dad to come and put the heat on for us. Well, that's not gonna reach over here. Well, bring it over, it can move over. We have a heater. See that thing over there? We've never used it because we never rode last winter and we never, we literally never used it, but we can use it now. Well, I'm glad that you made the choice not to ride tonight, even though you wanted to. I actually love being in the barn. Like maybe we'll use it more this winter, but look you guys, I know it's dark, but look at how clean. Remember I came out here one day and I was like, I'm just cleaning up. This is our storage. I could even clean it more. I can move these boxes. But it looks good. I can like walk back here. The only really bad part is over there, which is Sam's part. I also love that our minis are like opposite colors. Like one's dark and one's light. I think they look so pretty together. It's in the dark, you can't see them. You cannot see so dark horses in the dark. I think they're short enough. 
I actually like that we have two cross ties in here now. It wasn't even our idea to put cross ties in here. I'm so thankful to whoever, like a lot of people suggested it, that we put the cross ties in here. And I'm actually so thankful because it's warmer in here. It's cozier in here. Like we like it in here. And so it's way more fun. Like we can come out here when it's freezing cold. It's pouring rain outside right now. So we can come out even when it's cold and do stuff with our horses in here. I'm so grateful that you guys suggested it because I never would have done it. Even their four, even their manes are on opposite sides. Isn't that crazy? They're like opposites. I gotta make sure that you get the same amount of treats or I'm gonna feel bad. I know, I'm the same way. I'm like, I can, feel, I can feel sad for any animal or any person for like nothing. Next year we're gonna do everything different with the minis. The minis are going in a whole different field all on their own. I know, but they're gonna be next to each other. And it's sad, but here's the thing. They got way too fat this summer. Like, Gracie's not going with them? Yeah, Gracie can go with them. Because Gracie doesn't Gracie really fit with the big horses anyway. It's just, it has to happen. Like this, they're not getting any, Willow's not getting any younger. She has to, we have to watch her weight better. I wish she was getting younger. I know, remember, like, we've had, what, six or seven years with her? Seven, six years? All right, what do you How know? many years have we had with her? Well, well, she crossed over. That's good enough. How many years have we had with her? With Willow? A mm -hmm. long time. I think we've had her for six years. But there's a lot of history there. Like, on this channel, there's so many videos of us spending time with Willow. Like, remember when Brandon, she got free in the field and Brandon chased her and he was running so funny. <laughs> oh, he was trying his best and we were all just laughing at him. <laughs> but he got her. He caught her. And then all the tricks you taught her. Willow needs to be the Palomino because angel and then devil because honey is a devil. And it's not right angel and devil because Willow's an angel. Willow really is an angel. We're so lucky that we got her. All right, we are headed down. It is so Hi. dark and so cold. <laughs> Some, somebody might be jealous. You see that head sticking out around that pole? She's so tall. Yep, she's looking at Sophie. She's like, is it my turn now? Whew. I know, you're Sophie really <laughs> wanted to ride today. She's following. <laughs> oh my gosh. She really wants you. She uh, she really likes to do stuff, but okay. um, our trainer is away, I told you guys. And Sophie's really like loving her lessons lately. And jumping. And yeah, she loves jumping. But she doesn't want to lose what she's been getting from Lady. Oh. So we're gonna go this week. She wants to go, she wants to spend part of her birthday at the lesson barn, so we're gonna drive in. About my birthday here. What? I want you to see if they remember my birthday. Do you guys remember her birthday? No, like on the day of it, see if they remember. What do you mean? On your birthday, say, hey, do you guys know what today is? Yeah. They're gonna know. No, they won't. They will. Comment below if you know when Sophie's birthday is, just because she wants to see how many people remember her. Our vlogs have changed so much. Whew. It's cold that you guys are kind of out of the loop a little and that's okay. You're freaking kidding me. Coffee, what did you do? Oh no. And that's the only short one he can do. Oh no. What in the world? We've been so good. Girl, you good man. Oh. You guys, he must have jumped the gate. How did he get into his stall? He jumped. Bro, he's so fat. He jumped. He jumped that thing. Oh my gosh. And he jumped that. And then he jumped this. Oh my gosh. We've been so good. Like, so lucky. And now. Don't put the ball in. Uh oh. Okay. Bro. Uh oh. Okay. Listen, hopefully nobody's in heat. So, she's out of heat he's, now. We'll Toffee's. Toffee's out of heat now. You sure about that? Yeah, no, look, at he's not in love with anybody. He's checking them all. Oh, maybe he's in love with Lola. Uh-oh, maybe Toffee is in heat. I don't think so, though. 
What in the world? We had such a good record going this year, too. Yeah, no, I don't think anybody's in heat. Because he would tell us right away. Uh-oh. You guys, he's hurt. I'm going to get him in his stall and clean him. I think that she hurt him. I think she pulled his... He had like... Hey, leave her alone. I think he had like a little skur, which is just a tiny little horn. I think she knocked it off of him. Well, that's good. We don't need those. This is why I check on my goats. I checked on them two times today, and then still trouble happened. So... He had a tiny skur. It broke off. So he had a little bit of blood on his head. We put a collar on him, a purple collar on him, so I could catch him. We cleaned it. We put some cream on it. Some antibiotic cream. And then um, I gave him a CD and T shot because anytime bacteria gets inside a goat, like they can get tetanus so easy. So just to be on the safe side. I put the collar on him because it's hard to catch him and he really needs a collar but he makes me nervous with a collar especially him like jumping all those things my guess is that tilly was out of heat now and she was mean with him oh you guys it's so gorgeous over there so gorgeous so beautiful it's so much more vibrant in real life don't you know that